Hello, how you guys doing? My name is Beautiful Empress Warrior. Welcome to God's Business Ministry. You guys, I'm on fire right now. I'm in beast mode in the name of Jesus. You guys try to keep up with these videos because I've been uploading them and uploading them on my purpose and on my mission in the name of Jesus. We thank Father God in this time. It's the evening time right now. So for you night owls, how y'all doing at this moment and in this time in the name of Jesus, just know God is good all the time. And know just because it's nighttime right now, just know if you're a child of God, your light still shine in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God. I want to know you guys, remember when you guys was a child? Remember you when you guys was that young boy? That young girl in the name of Jesus. We thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank our God in this time in the name of Jesus. I know sometimes y'all sit back and reminisce when y'all was a child like in the name of Jesus. And I know sometimes y'all snickel and laugh to yourself in the name of Jesus. Because sometimes you guys, yeah you, probably didn't even believe half of the stuff you used to do in the name of Jesus. As a young boy and as a young girl in the name of Jesus. But you know what? We learn from our experiences in the name of Jesus. We learn from our mistakes and we make things better in the name of Jesus. That's what life is all about, guys. So I want you guys to continue to live, live this life in the name of Jesus. See, there's a difference between live, lit, living and living in the name of Jesus. Those that have ears and eyes, you will understand what I'm saying in the name of Jesus. So I want you guys to move to that uh, elevation to where you guys is living in the name of Jesus. You guys know we can have heaven right here on earth in the name of Jesus. You guys don't have to wait to pass away. You guys don't have to wait until the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ take you on home in the name of Jesus. You guys have the opportunity and the ability to live life right here as heaven is on earth in the name of Jesus. So you guys start living life as heaven is on earth in the name of Jesus. You know as so above, as so below in the name of Jesus. So just because we here in this world in the name of Jesus, don't mean we not of this world, but at the same time, we can still live life according to God's will, according to Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Can I get a witness right here in this time? But this message is also basically about I thank the Holy Spirit for moving and allowing me to speak those things unto you. But this video is also about uh, your child like in the name of Jesus. And it's coming out of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 in the name of Jesus. Can I get a witness? It's gonna, you're going to feel it in your spirit in the name of Jesus. Once I start reading it, you're going to start connecting with it in the name of Jesus. For it states... When I was a child, I spake as a child, meaning spoke as a child in the name of Jesus. I understood as a child in the name of Jesus. When we was children, we understood things as we can understand it as our mind state and our mind capacity could intake in the name of Jesus. So when you was a child, you spoke as a child in the name of Jesus. And also, uh, when you was a child, you understood like a child in the name of Jesus. There's levels to this. You have to grow into this in the name of Jesus. So it's not your fault in the name of Jesus. We suffer from the lack of knowledge, Hosea 4 and 6 in the name of Jesus. It's not your fault in the name of Jesus. You know God placed us here in the midst of wolves and he tells us to be wise as those wolves in the name of Jesus. Wise as those serpents in the name of Jesus. Can I get a witness in the name of Jesus? But let me continue this scripture in the name of Jesus. You understood as a child. I thought as a child. Meaning when you was younger, you thought as a child, you didn't think as an adult in this time in the name of Jesus. But when I became a man, and if you're a woman on here, once you became that woman in the name of Jesus, once you became that man in the name of Jesus, I put away childish things. So in these times we living in, in this world we living in, we have 
uh, girl women and we have boy men out there in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. But I pray in this season, I pray in this time in the name of Jesus that every woman in the name of Jesus, every woman in the name of Jesus that's supposed to be that woman, step into that woman in the name of Jesus, limelight in the name of Jesus. Jump into that woman characteristics. So, Lord God, we thank you, Father God, because when we was a child, we spoke as a child. When we was a child, we understood as a child. And we was when we was a child, we did childlike things in the name of Jesus. And in this time we're living in, in the name of Jesus, we got man boys in the name of Jesus. We got really men and kings that's supposed to be kings, but they acting as young boys in the name of Jesus. And we need our men and our kings to level up in the name of Jesus. Those kings that sleep right now, we need you to wake up and level up in the name of Jesus. And we need you to act as that man in the name of Jesus that God put in you. We need you to act as that king in the name of Jesus, as God called you to be in the name of Jesus and put away those childish things in the name of Jesus and level up take responsibility in the name of Jesus, own up to what you done done in the name of Jesus. This go for the women too, in the name of Jesus. If you was, if you will claim you a woman right now, but you're acting childish like that young girl in the name of Jesus, you got to let that go right now in the name of Jesus. You got to stand up, take your place. You call yourself having your crown on your head, but you got to put it up there right in the name of Jesus. You got to cut out all that girl-like tendencies oh Lord God. You can't say that you a woman and you're acting like a girl. You can't say that you a man and you're acting like a boy in the name of Jesus. You can't say that you a boss, but you're acting like a worker in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. Can I get a witness in this time? I know y'all falling off y'all seats right now in the name of Jesus. Y'all leave them comments in the bottom in the name of Jesus. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. But also, let me tell you this. In Philippians 4.19, it also states, But my God shall supply your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Can I say that again? Philippians 4.19, But my God, in the name of Jesus, shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I thank Father God on this time. I am a woman. I am a queen. I got my crown sitting on top of my head and it's straight up in the name of Jesus. We thank you for that Proverbs 31 woman. We thank you for the real Esther. Can the real Esther stand up right now in the name of Jesus? I thank you, Father God, in this time. But what I'm getting at you guys is we tend to have you know, uh, that young light spirit in us. It doesn't mean we acting as a child in the name of Jesus. That's why I brought forth Philippians 4.19 because we, uh, Philippians 4.19 states, uh, our God shall supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. So tonight, I needed me some ice cream in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. And when I show y'all these ice creams, some of y'all gonna hit the floor because y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. I heard the ice cream truck outside in the name of Jesus. I reminisced and went back. I felt like that little girl in the name of Jesus. But don't get it twisted. I'm a woman in the name of Jesus. I'm a queen in the name of Jesus. And I know my place and I know my stance in the name of Jesus. But I thank my Father God in this time because I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I take responsibility for my actions in the name of Jesus. So I thank you, Father God. But I once was in that place, but I moved from that place and now I am a queen. Now I have my crown on my head. So now I know how to act accordingly in the name of Jesus. I'm a woman, but I still have that childlike spirit in me. I heard the ice cream truck outside. I gather my shoes. I gather my little change in the name of Jesus. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I went on outside and went and got me an ice cream in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, because I don't own no rights to this in the name of Jesus, but I'm not even going to show no name in the name of Jesus. Y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that in the name of Jesus? I went and got me one of them. 
Okay, y'all know what that is. Y'all know exactly what that is. I was so happy and excited to look at all the pictures on the side of the ice cream truck trying to choose which one I wanted in the name of Jesus. And I went on according to God's, according to Jesus Christ's riches and glory. Can I get an amen? I went on and went and got me another one. I got me a strawberry shortcake in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to show the other side because... I don't want to be uh, 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 promoting content in the name of Jesus uh, that I'm not connected to at this time. Can I get an amen? But I went and got me a strawberry shortcake. And also I went and got me one of these. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know exactly what that is. I went and got me a snow cone. OMG. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Y'all keep y'all head up. Y'all continue to bless God, thank Him. Y'all take care of yourself, treat yourself in this time, and know that God is good. I love you guys. I'll see you guys again for that next prophetic video. Amen.